I work for Pillars of the Community, a grassroots organization in Southeast San Diego, and our goal is to decriminalize the community members. Um, we want to basically abolish the police. Um, we don't historically think the police have been here for a positive reason, and so we do so with community building, leadership development, policy change. Police abolition is just what it is. It's the eradication of the state police. It's the eradication of the state overseeing, and it's an understanding of the historical significance of policing in the United States. The police are here to protect white people who have money, property, and safety, and not ours. If we look at modern policing now, the majority of the interactions we have with police are to generate funds for the state. So the police are even here in order to stop people from infractions and things of that nature and put a dollar tag that they know they can't pay behind it so they can further just leech off of poor and working class people. We understand the purpose of the police, and we don't need them. What we need is community development, community safety, community accountability, and the police always go against those things that we're trying to do because it's against their interests. So when we come out, if there's a, a call, if we see issues within a family, if it's going to be a domestic violence call, we want to be able to have mental health specialists come in. We want to, and a lot of times it ties into the police's budget and jail budget. So we're operating against financial interest also. Because now law enforcement has been a huge, is a huge lobby entity. So we're fighting against those things now to reinvest into the communities themselves with our tax dollars and, and, and build something that's more transformative, even more so than restorative, transformative, putting the power into the victims and the healing into the victims in order for our communities to be able to operate without policing. The homicide of George Floyd was a culmination of decades of work being done against police brutality. It is a response to a lot of people's, a lot of individuals' voices not being heard. It's a response to state-sanctioned state murder and all of the previous cases where police officers have not been punished for murdering black and brown people. I love white co-conspirators. Um, if you're the majority of whites that are allies, are, are they say good messages, but they can't speak for me because their message is not really, it's, it's more of a self-interest message, even when it's against police brutality, it's trying to get things back to normal. Okay, you heard them, you heard them. Let's, it's not about abolishing the police. It's not about eliminating um, the prison industrial complex. It's not even about um, stopping the, the immigration and, and the racism that's done with immigration and deportation. It's about don't put the kids in a cage. Just put them with their moms when you lock them up. I hear that. I hear what they're saying loud and clear. <laughs> they're not trying to um, dismantle the system. They're trying to make it a little bit better so we'll tolerate the injustices a little bit longer. And so they can't speak for me.